Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two Ninja Breeze ice cream makers. On the left, I got the 4-in-1, model number NC100, and on the right, I got the 6-in-1, it's model number NC201. So this has four functions. We can do ice cream, light ice cream, sorbet, milkshake. This one does all of those, but we got smoothie bowl and gelato. Now they both take the exact same pint jars. Now, earlier I made some ice cream, it's starting to melt really quick, so. They're so simple to operate. Again, there's the paddle wheel on top. I had to clean it because it was melting, but the consistency of the ice cream is really good. Over here, I added some, some mix-ins earlier, and I've just been eating the ice cream. It tastes so good. So the night before, you're gonna mix your ingredients in these pint bowls, and you're gonna freeze this overnight. And then what's gonna happen is, you're going to put it in you're going to put this on that pint bowl there's a rod that's going to connect to this paddle wheel and the paddle wheel is going to go down inside the frozen mixture and create ice cream and it does a really really good job and it only takes two minutes okay so this keep in mind this has been out for just a little bit but i added some chocolate chips to it and again it just tastes really really good over here this is just plain vanilla ice cream yeah, really, really good. And what the neat fun, the neat thing about this is, so say I don't eat all of that, I can put the lid on it, put this back in the freezer, come back tomorrow, put my lid on it after it's clean, and then put it in the machine and hit ice cream, and it makes ice cream all over again. Another thing I like is everything is dishwasher safe. The paddle wheel, the lid, the pint jars, they're all dishwasher safe. As you can see up here, the, the machines are identical in size. Here's what they look like around back. They're both 800 watts. They both have the mix in and the respin buttons. And down there, there's a, that shaft that's going to connect with that paddle wheel and make ice cream. So I really was not expecting this white Ninja Creamy to come out. I mean, it is cheaper. It's retailing for 170. This one's been pretty well sold out for a while. It was retailing for $200. Um, this one just looks really nice. I don't need those. I don't need the smoothie bowl or the gelato. So I'm definitely recommending this one right here. I do like the color even. I think it looks really cool. I am starting to see it on Walmart and the uh, Amazon website, but it, mainly I bought both of these off the Ninja website and I'll be putting links to those underneath the show description notes. I bought both of these with my own money and I was not paid for this video. So underneath the video, You'll see the word see more click on it it'll bring up a description in there there'll be links to where you can buy these off the ninja website if you end up buying the product the product won't cost you anymore but i will get a little uh, commission from the sale it is a way of supporting my channel check out my other video where i compared these new ninja creamies to the older ninja creamy and the deluxe i just finished up that video with those two ice cream uh ice cream videos are hard to do because i want to eat the ice cream I've already had brain freeze and it melts really, really quick. So, but I knew there'd be a lot of questions on, you know, these two, they are identical. Everything's just a little bit different. The pints are the same. The lids are the same. I've interchanged them all. Everything works exactly the same. And that's the main reason why I buy these because, you know, until you actually put them side by side and use them, you don't necessarily know that they're, that it's the exact machine with two less buttons. So, Again, I hope this video helps, and that's the purpose of my videos, so thanks so much for watching.